Hi yeah. guys, welcome back to Moment of Silence Pod. I'm Sakshi Shivdasani. And I'm Nana Bhan. And we are back. And we're co-hosts, huh? And we're co-hosts. I'm not, not a guest. guest. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a guest. Pull your weight a little bit if you don't want. We are co-hosts. This episode is about traveling. And I came up with that 50% IP. Yeah. <laughs> she came up with it because now, if y'all don't know already, she is a little nomad, a digital nomad, a traveler, a jet setter, if you will. Yeah, um, I went on one holiday this this year and it was to London and I'm back and I've Ooh. carried the virus from UK because it was so cold and I've just been coughing and the sound dad was like, Kuch bhi karna mat. <laughs> so we're here. we're here, we're exploring this audio first platform and we're going to see where it goes. So the first episode that we shot, we got a comment saying Sakshi is summer and Nena is winter and to tell you all how seriously we take your comments, Nena flew off to the UK in zero degree temperature. But Nena, did you fly <laughs> off? <laughs> yeah, I flew off Sakshi, but uh, it was a little bit uh, of a boo-boo because I was so excited about getting my UK visa. Because I have an irrational fear of getting visas. Like, I feel like every country is going to think that I'm just going to go and settle illegally <laughs> and, you know, find a husband and... Green card. Green marriage. card, yeah. So, this was my fear always to the point that I went to the visa office, like, sweating. Like, sweating. <laughs> like, freaking out. And then I got my visa. Uh, and I was so excited that I got it that I never checked the... Or like, the beginning date. I checked the end. Love that. <laughs> and then I showed up to the airport and I text my family I'm coming I'm gonna go see my sister and then the woman opens my thing and she's like ma'am you know you need a visa to fly to the UK right (laughs) and I got it on the wrong freaking date (laughs) she had to book flight tickets again but that's not a problem since everyone saw her during the world cup she's minting that moolah (laughs) she was like let me waste some money before (laughs) like please book me some (laughs) paid partnership please I need it. I'm actually famous, so can you please let me on the flight? It didn't work. It doesn't work when you are famous, but you like fly real, like real last seat on economy. No one takes you seriously. Economy minus. Yeah. You have to like put your legs on your seat and hug yourself. I swear I'm famous. Please believe me. Have you seen the World Cup? That's me. Chota payment. No I pen. actually saw you on TV in Sri Lanka oh. during the World Cup. They also have the same star sports or whatever. Am I famous in Sri Lanka? Yeah, they don't like us too much, I don't think. <laughs> they were all supporting Australia during the World Cup. And Subrat and I were just sitting in the... Go- India, India, and then like as India started losing, we just got up and we Nana, walked. Nana, Nana. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, that's friend. my friend, actually. <laughs> it was quite uh, fun. So you took it really seriously and you ended up in uh, Sri, Sri Lanka, Lanka surfing? Yeah. Yeah. I was in this very obscure surf town in the southmost tip of Sri Lanka called Velagama, which means there are also no doctors there, like... The closest hospital is three hours away. Why is that relevant, you Why ask? is that relevant? The first day surfing, <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got this, I've got this, I'm surfing and I think I've made it to the beach, okay? So I'm like, I'll just step down. I put my front foot down and my back foot tilts and I hear something tear. Like, it just goes... Ow! <laughs> and I have ripped my ligament Ouch. in my knee. Ouch. So I'm limping around. That's I still uh, surfed for the rest of the three days because the Sindhi in me was like, I've paid for this. I need to get <laughs> full Vasuli. And there are no doctors anyway. So what are you going to do? You know why we finally stopped surfing? Why? I couldn't hold my own board in water. So a wave came and it hit Subrat in the head. Subrat's my boyfriend, by the Your way. Your good friend. My good friend, yeah. And he got concussed. In the middle of the water. He got concussed? Yeah, like he was just like knocked out. We had to ice him for the whole day. He was walking around with a headache. I wasn't letting him sleep. (laughs) Now you know they really support India in the World Cup because (laughs) ligament torn, concussed. We still watch the match. They still watch the match. Yeah. 
Oh, speaking of Sindhis <laughs> and not being scammed, I don't know if I can share this story, but I will. Go for so, it. Um, my entire family likes to travel together and mm-hmm. we end up in Bangkok, like 13 of us. And my sister and I are like, we want to watch a burlesque show. We want to watch a So, me, my Masi and my mom and my sister were like, let's go watch a burlesque show. <laughs> the only women in that <laughs> yeah, room. <laughs> everybody waited at a subway or they were eating dinner and we go for this thing. But of course, my my mother and my Masi being the Sindhis that they are, Motwani gang. Ooh. So yeah, they're like, we'll find the cheapest one because we don't have much money to give experience. Ke Just, karna. Yeah. So there are normal ones niche, but they find the shadiest looking guy who's like, I'll give you free entry. Uh, come with me. We go to some random, like random, like peache. First floor, se bhi peache. Like, oh no! Weird entry. And we're sitting there and we're watching this thing, and it's bizarre. Like none of the women want to be there. Obviously, there's not because the the day before we watched like a drag show, and it was so much fun. Yeah. So I thought it was all about like women empowerment and all these girls just like making money. But they were so not happy Sad. to be there. Oh no. And then we got scammed. So basically, they would finish each show and they would put a drink on our table. And we were like, oh, <laughs> cheers. And at the end of it, we're like, okay, this is not working out. Let's leave. They didn't let us go because they're like, you have to pay for all of these drinks. So oh. then instead of paying like whatever 1500 baht, we ha- we were supposed to pay like 20,000 baht or something. Except the Motwanis like <laughs> came into action. And then they were like... <laughs> <laughs> they they wrestled the two women these two women oh, down wow. and we only paid like 2000 baht over i love that modwani gang like. so you didn't get scammed no. i thought you were going to tell me a story about how a sindhi person scammed you and i was going to be like actually we are very humble no, uh, honest are people i being one for yeah. modwani can one attest fourth. to this 100% <laughs> I'm like, my cousins who are like, you know, half Sindhis, they call me a purebred Sindhi. Because my parents are the only one that had the saddest arranged marriage. (laughs) Everyone else married for love. My parents married for the Sindhi Sindhi. genetics. (laughs) No, my mom actually was like super impressed. She's like, Sakshi, a Sindhi and a content creator? Of course you should work together. What a smart Sindhi girl. (laughs) Really smart Sindhi woman. (laughs) Really funny Sindhi girl. My parents have the same thing. They don't watch any like... It doesn't matter. Oh. We're at home, okay? We we gave up after four episodes. We're like, itna three. quality. Nahi. Oh, sorry. Three. One didn't make it. So we're like, itna quality. Nahi. Sakshi ke ghar pe kar rahe. Sushi yaan baitha hua hai. Wo Scratching his balls. <laughs> um, but to bring it back, if you want, to vacations... Oh, yeah. yeah. We, of course. Of Why have an organic conversation when Nena is around? When I have all of my notes printed out. Yeah. I've never actually taken a luxury vacation. I wonder what it feels like. I have started becoming a white lotus traveler. I've realized I just want like a little dip into the culture. But I want to go back to this hotel and just lay there like a walrus. Like just lay there like a beached whale like that's all i want to do on vacation i do want like someone to bring me the local food to try out but i don't want to assimilate with the culture like you don't want to sweat for it no fair enough i i really i think like when you travel in like the southeast of asia you really feel like a queen like you yeah. feel like everything's working out for you but then the minute you move into like a currency exchange countries. that messes with you like you you it humbles you so fast what's your flight ticket scenario like do you book like business are you a business traveler I, that's like my goal like i want to be a regular business traveler because it ain't cutting it in economy Dude. and i feel like both our vacations like yours like if it's like a meme like mine was that you know me in that Nicki minaj song and then you're like i'm singing like a ballerina <laughs> like chilling on the beach <laughs> and i'm like fucking trekking so, through zero degree snow is falling i'm like where's the best deal and i'm I, like <laughs> just laying there yeah. i have figured out like Uh, my version of like business class where I fly the worst seats it's a middle seat 10 hour connection I'm crying at the end of it my knees are cramping but as soon as I land I go and get a massage 
that's a, that's a it's good. like a quarter of the cost you know like yeah. if you count both the things and you feel rejuvenated at the that's end of your really 90 idea. minute massage yeah and every time i'm like you know i can't economy is not cutting it and i check the business class prices and they're always just that much more expensive it's like they're seeing my income and they're marking the price <laughs> it's so just out of that. my reach just yeah. out of my reach so yeah i was like uh should i get a nice bag or should i fly business <laughs> like i'm at that place in my life right now yeah the bag Same. one yeah and then you carry your fancy ass bag in economy and people are like fake fake <laughs> 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 I, i had this exact fear imagine how fucking narcissistic i'm like will they think that what i'm wearing is fake <laughs> we could have it economy <laughs> yeah. minus if they start like a flight where i have to stand and go like I that i'm going to buy that ticket <laughs> i'll next. stand next to a kid crying also if it's cheaper dude <laughs> i never complain about kids crying on a flight because i'm like i have so much respect that these parents are making enough money to pay for someone else's ticket <laughs> i just <laughs> the money really slaps me in the face just me trying to suppress a cough <laughs> <laughs> this one has brought i don't know first uh, what all things <coughs> london has taken from us and given us a virus in return last time i was flying in business class there was this couple with like a small baby and a nanny and i was like what do you all do for a living i would like to afford to fly my nanny business class with me could i always like i had a fantasy of being a nanny to a really rich family and i wanted to make the their kids fall so in love with me that they had to take me everywhere that's the wrong move you make the husband fall in love no, with no, no. you that's that's too that's too much i need the kids to fall in love with me so that they remember me in their old age you're invited to their lake como yeah, wedding yeah that's what i want to do you you invest in the child so you are longer now what longer you are your own nanny now i am my own nanny my own intern my own makeup artist it seems doctor also so, have become every degree wow. every day. i didn't know we were watching the most depressing <laughs> show on this planet or your first <laughs> <laughs> so and the thing is that i the last time that i took a vacation that i paid for that i was super excited about was like in 2019 when i had just made enough disposable income and my friend and i we booked a ticket to italy and i was like ab oh, every year you and me babe and then like pandemic and then i got out of the pandemic and i had no money so for many years i just went to goa so i can't count that as a holiday destination but um, there is something about goa like it's the only thing we have you know you finish yeah. your 12th class at least like for me and everyone everyone's in goa. in goa and they're like going to curlies <laughs> So fun fact my dad every year used to take us to Goa wherever we were like oh we want to go to Bali we want to go XYZ he was like surprise we're going to Goa once again Ooh. and he would tell us everything is like Goa and i was like dad this is the worst thing you've ever said how could you say that and now that i've been to four to five beach destinations across the world everything is like goa. don't say that every don't save your money that. go to goa goa is goa for a reason no 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 okay i i i'll i'll say that you know like don't shop anywhere just shop in delhi is my only everything you find in any like like tourist location you'll you find, find in pahadganj in janpat <laughs> in janpat really i'm telling you but this is like a very dad strategy the any time we go anywhere and we like something my sister and like dad this is so amazing try it the the minute he tries it he's like i can make it at home for less <laughs> this is how he tried to pitch me srinagar to go to instead of switzerland it's like we have it all here well i feel like nepal mountains are better i'm that person now i only exclusively travel in southeast asia i'll tell you why you go to london and <laughs> yeah personal attack yeah. you go to london and you have x amount of money to go to london and you do everything but you take that same amount of money and you go to bangkok and you see the luxury bangkok has to offer of course you go to rajasthan with the same amount of money you're like i'm like a ballerina you know what <laughs> this is what happens when like you know when a really rich person is like yeah i only what's important is just like 
the connection you have with your family and a simple meal at the kabhi kushi kabhi like, ga let me at least <laughs> spend all of that money and come to that conclusion let me myself. find out yeah, yeah. let me do it myself let me eat pray love <laughs> Yeah. What do you like to do on vacation most? Like what do you look for? Dude, okay, I'm a very dumb traveler, okay? Mm-hmm. I need to eat and I need to have good weather and I don't care. Like if you show me a site, like I don't care what the site is. <laughs> if it's the Eiffel Tower, if it's the pyramids, if it's anything, my eyes gloss over. I don't want to see anything. I just want to I just want to eat in different locations. If there's a restaurant with a view of the Eiffel Tower, I'm like, "Fuck yeah, let's let's see the Eiffel Tower." <laughs> I see Gateway of India from Taj. Okay, so do I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do I. Like that's yeah, yeah. the way to do it. And you know, people are like, "Oh, fancy." Okay, fine. I'll take it on this one. I, I'm like so dumb that I can't travel to places that pickpocketing is common mm. because I have on multiple occasions left my bag with my passports, my cash, my cards in different restaurants and I've gone back one hour later and they've had it. because nice. i go to korea i go to like sri lanka very safe places if i go to italy i'm going to get robbed in broad daylight <laughs> and come back khali hath because i carry also everything in one little uh, pochet <laughs> This is how I know we're so different. Like I had a fanny pack and I was like holding on to it. Or like and also uh I went to visit my sister in the UK, okay? And uh, she was working, so I was pretty much left to my own devices and I also left the house on my own after we fought. But she like I have better things to do and I'm like fine, I'll go explore on my own. And the minute I was leaving anywhere, she would just stress me out. She like you're going to get mugged, so just watch out. Uh also it's slippery outside, so when you're leaving the metro just or the tube, just like uh, just watch out cuz somebody lost a leg last week i'm <laughs> just like <laughs> thanks thanks and i'm really afraid of white people <laughs> because i'll tell you why because other indians have just made such a like such a awful like ex- like such an ex- but uh, fuck white people one second sorry i've lost i'm jet lagged and i haven't slept but like you know Indians travel really badly and have very bad uh, presentation in terms of like being really rude, yeah. cutting lines, etc., <laughs> etc. And I'm just scared to be perceived. So I'm always like, I'm like, जी साहब. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> India ka image is on your Dude, two shoulders. Dude, I used to get so stressed. Like every time I went shopping, I was like, I have to buy this. I don't want to ask questions. Like I, I went to Marjala. <laughs> And she's like it's it's X Y Z like it's your whole life. Please hand it over. She's like yeah 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 just take it. Is the shoe okay? I'm sure it's fine. I just packed it. Thank and I you. Love it. You packed it yourself. Yeah. I was like, do you mind? Should I just do it for you? Should I buy you a pair? <laughs> This is your gulami yeah, coming out. So, like, dude. Yeah. It took me like it took me a few times to kind of get rid of that servile attitude because I don't know. I felt like I was so intimidated by white people that I was just like. <laughs> bowing to them and then i was like what the fuck am i doing you like and then i had to kind of like regroup in my head me is it internalized racism towards myself that's making me do this and it was like yes yeah it is but now i'm like maybe i will like behave normally and i feel like indians also get like a bad rep because they don't a lot of people don't understand that people are traveling on a budget and they're not trying to do it to be rude Fair. but like it is coming across as rude because they are stressed about the oh this is our first international vacation so now whenever i see like an indian family at the airport i help them fill the fill their visa forms and all i'm not a nice person i'm just like <laughs> no one should say anything about indians please <laughs> mai naam badlungi <laughs> yeah i'm i'm a big patriot i only listen to three songs and they're all patriot oh my god you so should know this Sakshi is is a really patriotic person. She works out to like every patriotic Jai Bollywood. Ho, yeah, it's happening, and I'm running. She's like to chuck the and stuff, and it's like pretty intense. Yeah, I don't know when this started, but like I'm a very like uh, under say like I I listen to one day matra. I'm on a day like I wake up and I listen to one day matra. <laughs> You do, the, you do the you do the class 5 choreography also <laughs> there's like jhandas hidden in my house that's cute i like that make india cool again yeah 
<laughs> Am I going to get cancer? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you what I ask every man I hook up with. Beaches or mountains? <laughs> don't hate me, okay? Hmm. I like I like cities. I don't like beaches or mountains. I like walking around like capitalism. Mm, <laughs> I like I to buy things on the way. I like keep whatever cuisine I want. Like I like these like and I know every big city is the same like you know all the metros like yeah. I I recently went to Seoul and that's been my favorite destination because you have like your street food, you have local shops, you have designer shops to look at. Like you have everything. Yeah. So I was really fucking with Seoul and I've realized that beaches are only nice if you're doing like an activity like surfing or something. Hmm. Even now after you've been burned. Of course. <laughs> I I mean I love beaches but again I love cities as well like I love consumerism <laughs> <laughs> I feel very passionately about malls especially the ones that have like boutique bro shop. Nana every night instead of going for a walk she goes and strolls in a mall yeah. like it it can be whichever type of mall it just has to be a generic mall I like malls yeah <laughs> I like malls <laughs> sorry sound it's so stupid um no yeah I I If I'm going on vacation, why should I go and start searching for myself and stuff? I don't want to meditate. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to have a sit. I just want to have like a thoughts. serotonin. Like I want my serotonin receptors to be like bam, overdose, overdose. Yeah. Like I want to come back like this. You know. You do a lot of travel for work to yeah. these obscure towns. Yeah. How's that for you? It's it's very disorienting because you are just like shuttled from the airport to the hotel to the thing and then you're back and then you're like wait where was i <laughs> you know but uh, but like when i used to model we used to have like we like intense shoots like once we had to shoot in a forest in like uh 10 kg lehengas oh and we would be changing at a base camp and then we'd be driven into the forest except the lehengas were so big that we would just be like sausage like thrown into the back of a car so i would like go like this and then i would go <laughs> out like that and i went to shoot um Where was this the, in uh, outside hyderabad but once i went to bangkok Ooh. which for a shoot which was just like dude um went out for an hour almost didn't wake up for the shoot <laughs> like it was it was it was bad Bangkok is so underrated as a place to travel like I you, love Bangkok. Yeah. You think of Bangkok and you always think about those dudes on on a bachelor trip in those t-shirts like he fucks or whatever like <laughs> all of them pointing at the groom. But Bangkok is like I feel like the food is banger, the weather is pretty good, there's shopping like in that pratnam <laughs> all of, you know the only thing that brings us together <laughs> is shopping, shopping. <laughs> yeah it's just and that. no there's a wax museum have you been to the bangkok wax no, i, I have <laughs> wow there, there's also the ripley's believe it or not museum chinatown bar scene is the best bar scene ever chinatown anywhere has yeah. amazing bar scenes like nice speakeasies yeah. and stuff i love to travel and and discover new cocktails at different bars bango i love i mean when i'm in like europe just drink yeah just you know just like having an aperol spritz like thinking Ooh. yeah What's your favorite drink? Uh, on travel uh-huh. like anything i mean in general also anything tequila based Um yeah she's spicy <laughs> she's spicy no aperol spritz like for the win man nothing makes you feel like vacation more than an aperol so i've <laughs> recently discovered cocktails okay yeah. i'm a very like give me my beer give me my beer and recently and i was like i hate tasting alcohol and aperol spritz is the drink that did it for me also did Now, i introduce you to it no oh, but shit. we had it together <laughs> we had it together yeah, all, yeah. I, because i just discovered it i was like hey Nana, do you want to come over? I'll make aperol spritz, and she was like, "Fuck yeah!" And then we drank a It's lot. It's the most white lotus thing yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah, it really is. But you know, uh, I was like listening. Now I I say reading a book, but my version of reading a book is listening to a podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah. So recently, I was listening to this podcast where they were talking about vacations, and they were talking about how, on average, like a person's vacation euphoria peaks on the third day, and after that, it's all downhill. and that people react mostly to uh the first time for everything that yeah. first drink the first dip in the ocean the first 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 and then after that it's like 
so apparently like if it's it's much better to take short vacations but multiple vacations than to take longer vacations and then slowly suffer yeah. by the end of it uh, what my do you think? friend just went to japan for 20 days and she came back and she was like it was amazing but it was too much yeah. so i was like why did you go for 20 days and she was like <laughs> but i do like 5 5 days of vacation so i'm always like I want to go back. Like, you figured it out. Yeah. Like you're always like on a fun vacation, and, and then look, I come back as soon as it's like. Yeah, because I am in my auntie mode where like I I miss dal chawal. Yeah, <laughs> I think my bed. I miss my bed. My back is hurting. My hurt pillow is yeah. different. I can't get Do sleep. Do it really. I I think. that i will never be the person who moves abroad i love india <laughs> i love living in india i love vacationing abroad <laughs> <laughs> no i love i love making this my base and then escaping to other countries and then seeing them like you know so colorfully and then not seeing their depressed economies and stuff <laughs> coming back dude yeah. you know i'm i have a grievance actually mm-hmm. with travel influencers let's go they always do this five places you could go to under 50000 rubbish rubbish bullshit there is no way you're spending less than 50000 on a vacation and like unless you are suffering yeah like uh, but they make it sound like you can do like the fanciest stuff on 50000 it's like by the time you book the tickets and you buy like three items to take with you you're out of 50000 but like and i'm sure they are also posting like oh stay 3 to 5000 rupees a day and then they like sign off and they go for a barter stay in a 50000 a night property mm. i'm convinced yeah barter is the hack but <laughs> <laughs> no one's giving us that no but i i i feel like experiences like life when you spend on an experience if you save up and spend on an experience is a lot more like gratifying like you'll always remember Like drinking an Aperol spritz at the Riviera in Did Italy. Did you buy a matching bag and earrings last no, week? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't. I did not. Um, <laughs> Sorry, shoes. No, versus like buying like a pair of shoes. Like I'll never like have that euphoria. Oh, I went yeah. and bought those shoes. Wow. But I'll remember when I was broke in <laughs> Italy. But I was drinking that Aperol that and the pizza. wind was in my hair. I was like, where are the cute Italian boys? So there were none. There were none. <laughs> there are no hot boys. Where are they? They're not. They're not even in the UK. I don't know where I went. Yeah, my friend just is visiting from the UK, and I was doing this very sophisticated act, like mocking her. She was like, I also thought UK was very sophisticated when I went, and they are the trashiest <laughs> country. So, UK is a country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. God, it's so embarrassing. Don't judge me. Okay, this is my little Arya Bhat moment. But I met someone recently, and she was like, "I'm from Chennai." So I was like, "Oh, where in Chennai?" So she was like, "Have you been?" So I was like, "Is it a city?" And she was like, "Yeah." <laughs> and I was like, "I'm so sorry, <laughs> but the damage was done. I'm just a fucking bimbo. It's done." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope Sobhra doesn't know this. He was there. He was, he was there. just like he loves you. <laughs> he really loves you. Okay, going back to my notes. <laughs> no, put them down. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're going to be professional. Um, like traveling in your childhood. Like I did. Ban- I keep coming back to Bangkok because I went this year. But I did Bangkok in my childhood, and I did it now, and it's so different because. Yeah, parent bonuses and different. kid bonuses are different yeah. i keep saying that but like how was travel for you like growing up i was spoiled for travel because my dad was in the merchant navy and i spent my entire childhood like on a ship in all of my vacations we went all over south america africa europe like it was amazing It was really good, and then after Bitch. that, when I had to pay for my own holidays and I had to make it anywhere, it's only now that I've. I mean, if if the pandemic hadn't happened, maybe I would have gone more. But it's only now that I've finally in that place where I'm like, oh my god, like I can vacation again and I'm going to experience cultures. Because for a long time, I was like, I love traveling, but I'd only been to Goa like five times. So like, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about at all. 
I, my dad would always plan this trip for us but he would never come on this trip so mm. he would like make all the bookings and he would give my mom and my bua used to come with me and my sister so it was just four of us we did like a few places and he would make all the bookings so but sweet. he would not figure he would be like oh 2 pm you're going to the zoo and then 4 pm you're going to ripley's believe it or not museum and he would not tell us that it's like across town because he was not experiencing it with us yeah. so my mom and my bua were just running with these two 15 year old girls from across town but it was like it they value experiences a lot and that was always so fun but they did not give a shit about food or alcohol so we always ate at like a mall food court and we would get like starbucks for the free wifi because my mom's also like I don't want to spend too yeah. much so now to overcompensate I don't even do the conversions for money that I'm spending when I come back because I'm just so like I've been denied free wifi one too many times <laughs> so now I'm just like wifi is paid yeah take my card and then I just do the math once I come back which is not a good way to travel I'm a dumb traveler No I I agree because like it's very dangerous for uh, the exchange rate when the numbers are smaller they seem cuter like i'm like oh what's 300 pounds <laughs> but yeah it's, it's like it's, it's like, a lot of money yeah so i'm like if i lived in london i would uh, i would not be faring very well when i went to korea i was off by 10 they have like the 20000 won is x amount of money and i thought it was like i don't know the conversion but for simplicity i thought 20000 won was 100 and it was actually 1000 So I was just like, oh, this is so cheap, nine hundred rupees, and I'm swiping for nine thousand. And I came back and like I was like, this is the cheapest place I've been to. And then I saw my uh, bank account, and I don't check my bank account because it stresses me out. If I just don't see it, then it didn't happen. The damage was never done, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like looking at me like this I'm just bit. like calculating your bill. <laughs> I'll show it to you. It was really embarrassing, honestly. And Subrat was like, "What did you think?" I was like, "Thinking on vacation." Who does <laughs> Who that? Who does that? Yeah. But listen, I have been in search for a good travel partner my whole life. <laughs> my whole life. If you're out there. And you know how to plan travel. I'm right fucking here. I'm right fucking here. <laughs> I don't plan the travel. Payment. Sorry, chore <laughs> payments ke liye pay nahi la. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, like only once did I go on a girls trip with my girls, and it was the most amazing experience because they are so planned. that i didn't i just had to get off the flight and everything was thought out the car was booked everything Ooh. was done split wise was like yeah you just have to it's just done that you know and sense. i just i'm looking for that person to complete me i'm not going to plan any trips ever do you like to solo travel do you like no. to couple travel i don't care who is with me as long as they plan the trip is so that like, good at planning so that is great at plan in fact So fun fact about my boyfriend he can see a frame shot at any hotel around the world and he can tell you what hotel it is what he's so good at it he knows every single like all my friends have now been calling me and telling me can we have subrat's itinerary for xyz place and he knows every single thing like he finds the best deals i've stayed at the best hotels for 70% off and not because i get bartered or anything just because his research is so bang on he'll find these websites he'll ch- he like call them up and say what's the best price you can offer if we book a base room you best believe he will talk the receptionist into giving us an upgrade like marry him yeah <laughs> it's like done. it's Just lock him down we, that's so we good. never eat a bad meal whenever we travel that's Wow, yeah. so good. Mm-hmm. You should come yeah. with us. Yeah, <laughs> next time if I want to. Didn't you just now? You get why we're dating. Right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what was it? And I could never <laughs> figure have, it out. Does he have a <laughs> massive cock? No, no. No, just <laughs> Excel sheets at <laughs> planning travel. <laughs> And I don't do anything. I like. It, If I have to look outside the window, he's like, "Oh, enjoy the view. This is supposed to be the best drive of your life." I'll, Oops! I think we have a guest. Oh. <laughs> Our first guest on the podcast. It's Ranveer Kapoor. Okay. 
so obviously suvrat knows more about the travel than i do because he planned it but every time i post anything on vacation everyone's like iske paise pe hi ghoom rahi hai wo <laughs> like i'm fully like they have this perception of like oh you know sakshi is traveling on suvrat's money gold digging slut and it makes no sense because my way of making money is online like you can see hashtag ad every time i post so please no i so i used to i don't know i had this weird like embarrassment where i don't know i'm in this weird embarrassment era where <laughs> i feel like oh my god you know i'm traveling economy or oh my god like as a as a person in front of the camera who's like reached whatever level i should be like in a better or circumstance but then i'm like bro i'm so proud of myself for being able to like bring my account balance yeah. back to a place where i can do this without thinking i can fuck up my ticket yeah. <laughs> because i missed my visa date i can do all those things and it's on my own money and uh now i'm working back to make all of it but i don't like this weird interim do you feel it also where i feel like i need to have like a certain like visual like vacation to Perception. put up on the internet yeah i have the opposite of that okay. i have like a white guilt of being able to spend money yeah because look i don't have any liabilities right yeah. like my uh, my parents i don't have to send money home so i am in that thing where all of my money is fun money for me mm-hmm. so i am spending it in a fun way so i have that little bit like oh no i'm like that day i was at geo world plaza which is just open with like i had bought a bag okay that's my new thing just buying bags and someone was like i met someone that follows me and she was like oh my god this mall is so expensive and suddenly i was like no actually i've been saving for this bag for a very <laughs> long time and she was like, like okay sara ali khan calm down and i was like i think there's also that fear right cuz again like because you're like if you buy something somebody thinks you're like spending somebody else's money yeah. if you do something better they're like oh she's just like sold out or whatever <laughs> and i think of course like the easy way out of it like to travel better or whatever is to do like a paid collaboration or a yeah. barter deal but i want to go on vacation as a vacation from my job like yeah. i don't want to go on yeah and be in a beautiful place but then be stressed every day cuz i have to make like stories yeah. and this and the that the funnest vacations to see online are actually the most hectic offline they are so hectic yeah that's why this time when i went i was like i'm not i don't want my sister like we will do a shoot we'll create content you have to post every day i'm like i don't want to do a fucking thing i want to be on fucking vacation i deserve it did, did you try alia bhat's favorite cake Let oh god go. no oh god no listen i'll paint a picture of me in the uk i uh, bought a jacket in 2017 to go to college and i never needed it again cuz i avoid the winter and i was wearing that jacket and i looked like a child on college vacation nothing <laughs> i put underneath that jacket was like sexy or hot so i traveled like the most whole wholesome holiday that i could ever have and somebody commented on my post saying something to the effect of she's just getting fucked <laughs> in london i'm like no i'm at my aunt's house we're eating like pasta bro <laughs> putting the london london yeah no i'm just Sorry. in winter wonderland with my sister like eating <laughs> fries like, and all. oh my god i have to tell you though i did something better than drugs <laughs> I went on a 360 roller coaster after many 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 oh years God. and let me tell you when you do like 360 flips on a roller coaster in minus 2 degrees temperature your brain opens up and you see like the first like the first atom from which the world was created I saw it guys <laughs> I saw it must do things yeah, on vacation it was like ayahuasca but like at winter wonderland Yeah, I don't think solo traveling is for the weak. <laughs> Not for me for sure. I'm so scared of being on my own. <laughs> like every time I stepped out on my own, I was just like like fantasizing about my impending death. Like I'm like oh I'm walking on the street in Portobello, mai idhar gir jaungi, somebody will like take my stuff, no one will know how to call my sister, her phone is anyway on 5% battery. My parents will find out 3 to 5 business days later oh that God, their child has disappeared. You. 
no i'm the opposite if i'm walking alone i'm like oh a stranger is going to fall in love with me stranger danger <laughs> yeah but kind of hot yeah. he's going to be a mafia don and his he is going to see me and he's going to fall in love with me he's going to kidnap me i'm going to fall in love with him all of this has happened and there's no cute guys around now so it's just in my head he's a wa- brick wall of muscles you know <laughs> that twilight era you know like, what th- you literally just described 365 days oh, yeah and you're like when my twilight you know when yeah, the vampire five days yeah. whatever yeah. guys but yeah no i'm not worried about anything because i i'm telling you now i don't uh, it's not real vacation is not real to me real things cannot happen to me on vacation yeah also i don't think that hooking up with anybody on vacation is like a good idea because oh. all these boys are living in dorms that are sharing beds 12 people they're all sweating i know this one girl <laughs> in dubai she hooked up with like a local and the guy called the cops on her <laughs> i don't know why yeah oh he was like oh she's stealing money from me or something Jesus. and if you get like you know if you're like a tourist in dubai and you get caught yeah. and the local like whatever yeah. frames you you're in big shit so don't hook up with anyone <laughs> that's your <laughs> that's my take away <laughs> when on vacation that's your big disclaimer yeah. but you you know have you watched the movie queen yes why she like why you <laughs> refer to it like it was some art house cinema that only comes <laughs> on movie <laughs> I yes. haven't been around people that watch bollywood in a very long time okay yeah <laughs> fuck my friends yeah but you know how she's like with boys all the time yeah. and they're all like looking out for her and they're all making her feel safe and she comes into her own if that movie happened in real life she would have sat in the hotel room for 7 days in a row after that one mugging incident and just gone home after that and told lied to her parents it's very safe please don't take away my <laughs> yeah, freedom yeah that oh my god i know exactly what you're talking about because i would rather get mugged <laughs> get slapped get the slapped five times. then tell my parents that <laughs> i got mugged and slapped in the face my first trip to goa that one that one that we all take after school yeah. right the first day we landed we put our bags and my friends wanted to buy cigarettes okay so i'm crossing the street and my friend was on the side and the traffic was coming from the side and i took one step and i got hit by a scooter like one step i rolled and i was so embarrassed the guy started screaming at me and i'm like it's okay it's okay that <laughs> you hit ran me, me over yeah just <laughs> ran me over and then my friend's like are you okay are you okay i'm like yeah i'm fine and then he's like you're going to go into shock i'm like no no i'm not dear and then we walked to the panwadi and i go blind panwadi <laughs> Oh my god. I go what? blind. Like I go into shock. I faint for a second. My friend holds me. I'm blind. We buy the cigarettes because priorities. <laughs> And he makes me cross the same road blind. <laughs> You got to do what you got to do babe. And yeah, and I never told my parents about They it. They find out about yeah, it. Yeah, by the time I came back to the to to the apartment, my sight had come back and I told my friend that I got hit by a scooter and her first response was you didn't die. <laughs> unalive that podcast <laughs> sorry. Speak. You didn't unalive. <laughs> by a scooty but uh, yeah that and my parents still don't know so it's sorry mom i'm alive today and i'm doing very well so for it myself matter, it's fine yeah, <laughs> yeah. my first goa trip yeah. we got our car stuck in a ditch and like we were four guys and three girls and the we just stood in the corner and our crop tops and hot shorts and we were like fuck this this is not our problem and these guys were like trying to push this innova out of the ditch and there was these gunda sitting there saying give us 12000 we'll push it out for you and we we were all like on like 12000 that's only 12 korean whatever currency <laughs> yeah i'm like <laughs> though no that time i was uh, spending my parents money so i was like i can't yeah and we were there for 2 hours and four guys these pitta guys were pushing it then we finally were like 7000 and we all gave 1000 1000 rupees and then they pushed our car out we went to this club in goa and they were like for cover charge you get unlimited drinks unlimited drinks we all had it one of my friends was like i'm going to buy shots upar se the only person that spent money there she had those shots she passed out 5 minutes later she lost 5 kgs in 4 days and she has come back and gone to the icu god knows what was in those shots i didn't tell my parents i was like <laughs> 
tera problem too sambhal my parents will never let me get out of the house again <laughs> sorry i i want i want to be like the kind of mom my kid can talk to yeah. you know, in these situations i'm like how do i crack that code that my child reaches like near death situations <laughs> and i'm like are you okay yeah tell me tell yeah. me you got mugged by a really you hot guy <laughs> in, in italy like i want to know so in conclusion <laughs> On that note, on that note, बहुत बातें कर ली अब थोड़ा ट्रेवल भी कर लो है ना वाह आर जी नैना जाओ यार क्रिसमस के लिए जाओ दिवाली के लिए नहीं गई तो क्रिसमस भी तो है न्यू ईयर्स भी तो है Just go to some place. She's like, just go away just from this. It's done. This podcast. Book now. Book on a Monday. Book incognito. Go to Sky Scanner. Like, <laughs> this is your chance. And just tell your boss you need leave. What's he gonna say? No. <laughs> yeah, probably. But that's not our business. <laughs> What is paid leave in 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 relation to a great experience? Like, take She's the so L. She's so privileged, <laughs> guys. Come on. <laughs> chalo, chalo. <laughs> Happy Bye, New guys. Year. Acha <laughs> please uh, like share comment subscribe and all that jazz leave a hot cute review and uh, Bye. Bye.